few things up here. Uh, just getting ready to do a bit of filming. To be honest, I'm not quite sure where I am today. I think there was a full moon last night and it's left me a little bit... I'm not quite sure what it's left me, but a bit cuckoo, I think, today. <laughs> so I thought, well, let's just see where this day takes me. I'm being very slow and gentle and we're just going to explore some things that I put out here. I think it's going to be sketchbooky because I want to sort of transition out of those lovely, lovely daffodils, which I really enjoyed doing. Thank you so much. And thank you to those people who sent me some photographs of what they've done. That was wonderful. It was really lovely um, to see that what I'm doing here has an effect on what you do. It's just lovely to inspire other people is just fantastic. So thank you for that. Um, Welcome back to my studio. Welcome here if you haven't been before. This is where I love to work and love to live and I'm so grateful to be here. I've got a studio full of lovely stuff and you're going to get to see a little bit of it today. So I kind of, I've got lots of samples and things that are kind of lurking around the place that I've done in the past. And I feel as though what I want to do is try and amalgamate things. I've got various sketchbooks, okay, which I, I kind of keep. And sometimes they're specific projects. And sometimes they're a bit like this one, which is a sort of what I call a general book, which has got all sorts of different things going on in it. It's got uh, little landscapes. It's got things that I did for Christmas. And it's also got some, oh, funnily enough, some daffodilly things. So there's that one. I've got a very much, this one here is very much sea based. Um, you can probably see from the colours of it. And it's where I've been experimenting with paint and paper and writing words. And then what I tend to do is, yeah, I use this as a basis and somewhere to put things. It's a, it's an inspiration if I'm stuck. And sometimes it's just by playing in these books. I, I kind of move into a place where I know what it is I want to make and how I want to make it, at least, you know, the start point of it. And sometimes I get a box of fabric out, as you know, that's another way I do it. And that's a great way as well. Sometimes I have little clues. It's like following a trail of breadcrumbs, really. So this one, this one's a funny one. This one's got bits that I've written, bits that I've stitched, bits that I've painted. It's got, um, so something like that. It's got a little bit of landscape got some words on a piece of paper that I've stuck in and I appreciate that doing sketchbook things isn't everybody's cup of tea you could think of this as art journaling people call it art journaling I think in some in some um, arenas I tend to paint my pages because I find that is nice to have them ready painted so that I'm not just using a blank sheet like that which is very off-putting um, so yeah, I think this is going to just take me somewhere that I haven't been before. <laughs> I've got some things I want to do. I've got a piece that I'm, I've got a couple of pieces that I'm working on that I've been working on for actually one or two years, shall we say. Some pieces that are quite old. I've got an exhibition coming up and I kind of want to mix the old and the new. And the theme is very much the sea. So I thought, well, if I play with these today, that might just move me in the right direction. And you can see how I put things together. It might inspire you. You might just prefer to stick with just the fabrics, but at least having a book like this means you can you can kind of pop these into a book and then you've got something to flick through. Instead of having these in a, in a huge pile in the corner of your, wherever you're working, it's a nice way to have something to look at, even on a rainy day when you haven't got anything creative going on and you just want to look at something lovely that you've done in the past. Okay, so I'm coming over now to my little embellishing machine. As many of you know, is my is my second best friend after my sewing machine. So I've just got some scraps of fabric here, and I'm just going to be making a little sample to pop in my book. And uh, I'm just going to put some bits of fabric on. It's got uh, 12 needles in here that are going to needle punch the fabrics together.
Okay, so we've got some nice pages here. And as I say, I think what I'm going to do is get myself a new sketchbook because I feel as though this one, uh, which I was trying to show you before, is pretty full now. It's got It's got some nice things going on in it and I can always work more into it. Um, and it's a source of inspiration. I've got lots of things that I can look at and go, oh yes, I'd like to take that somewhere further. Or it's a place where I can add you know, more samples in it as I make samples. So this is what, this is what I think I'm going to start off um, my new sketchbook with. It's some work, as I say, that I'd already done. But what I've done now is I've put this piece of the sample in. That's now stuck on there. This It was called Transformation and I, I took what I did was I took an old corset and I um, added fabrics to it and changed it. And here's some of the samples that I had from uh, previously. And here's, I've got some samples that I'm putting in. So I'm just trying to get these in the right sort of order to show you. Um, I think this one came next. See, I like to have, see that's 2018, so I've had this a while, and that doesn't matter, you see, I think this is all work in progress, nothing has to be finished, you can keep working into these books. So 2018, you know, that's no time at all, I love to keep working in these books until I think they're done. So I've stitched that into here, that's got a little sample on there now, just because there was a big gap there, and I thought, well actually that sample would look quite nice in there. This is a bit more of the same turquoisey colours. This is a couple of samples I've put in. This was from a handbag that I made and I did some embellishing and some stitching and I had these samples left over so I'm good. I thought well they would go in nicely as well. And I've got this one and I've got as I say some painted pages. So I feel as though those two pages go quite nicely together. They've got sort of purples and things going on. Um, that's a greenish piece which I think actually needs, uh, I think that needs that bit there, there we go. This page is lovely, it's got um, bits of tissue paper stuck on and it's been painted and splodged so that's got a nice effect. So that might quite be quite nice with that you see. So as you're turning through the book you're getting different colours going on and although this is very bright green I quite like that because you do get all sorts of different colours uh, in the sea and it reflects the painting that I did over on, on that side and again you know when you've got different shades going on in the sea you haven't just got the blues you've got all sorts of things going on when you if you look closely or if you're just using your imagination and you're creating the sea that's in your head there's no rules about it so this piece I had already painted it as I say and so I've stuck a sample on this side and I've stuck two samples on this side. These pieces haven't been stitched at all, they've just got embellished surfaces and they're really tasty. This I don't really like having a blank page like that so I may I may take that off and actually put some tissue paper or something on there because that's not really very satisfactory. It's not very tactile. Um, but the other piece I was going to put on there was this, which again is an embellished, just simply embellished onto a piece of blanket. So that could be another sample to go in there. So you can see you're starting to build up a collection of possibilities. Um, oh, I know what I was going to add in. I know what I was going to add in was, as well as, I do sketches, as you know, and I have what I call proper sketchbooks where I do drawings, drawings with my pencil and pens and things. This has got a little sketch of how I want my piece to go and I just drew it on some paper that I had to hand and what I've done is I've put a piece of net behind it because I thought that made it look nicer. I've torn the edges and I've sewn that in there and then that can go in as a mix and match because it's quite nice to have words as well as um, and some little sketchy things. And then it starts to become a whole project. I mean, you could call it a project book, a sketchbook, a journal. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. And as I say, it's just a place to keep things for inspiration and as a place to play. And the beautiful thing is because these pages come out, because you cut them and they come out of the books, then you can rearrange these pages any way you want to. So I'm going to sort them out into a nice new book at some point. And I'm going to start work on the actual pieces that I'll, I need to do some more sampling, I think, to work into the pieces I'm going to be making. 
So I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of sketchbooking with me today. It's been an odd day. I have to say I had a bit of a hiccup in my filming because I discovered that my camera wasn't actually on focus. So if um, on autofocus. So if any of this is out of focus, I apologise. I've had to refilm some bits, which was not really how I intended things to do to be today but that's how it is sometimes isn't it life just gives you stuff to deal with so i will say cheerio for now i will look forward to seeing you again in my studio and we will see where we're going to go next with all of this lot thank you so much for watching bye for now mm -hmm.